Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Mara, welcome to Mara's Corner. This specific video is going to be for all of you WordPress bloggers who have been spending so much heart and soul and time creating amazing blog posts but are just really, really frustrated because you're not seeing the views or traffic coming into the post that you've worked so, so hard to work on. Trust me, I get that. I'm gonna show you what just a few simple minor tweaks can do to help boost more traffic and more visibility to your existing and future blogs. If that sounds like something you're interested in learning more about, please stay tuned. Okay, so what I've done here is shared my screen with you and this is my blog site and also my main youtube channel the funky spork i am a food blogger so i post a lot of recipes on here so what i'm doing now is i'm going to take an existing blog post and tweak it and see if it even shows up on google or bing or even yahoo search results and that's a really big deal because search engine visibility is in a lot of ways how you're going to wind up getting traffic if your blog and you're wanting it to address a certain type of topic or some sort of problem you want a wider audience to see your content so let's go ahead and this is my recipe page let's go and look for a particular recipe that i loved okay so it's for my vegan zucchini lasagna which was delicious let's take a look at it so here we go Here's the blog post. Okay, look at that picture. Uh, looks good. This lasagna took me places. Okay, I'd want to read more about that. Da 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 da. I'm not really going to go into what this specific blog post is about, but really to see right now, I'm curious to see if this specific blog post, if I were to do copy paste, which I did, I went ahead and uh, copied this and now what I wanted to know was would this specific blog post be found on Google and I'm really looking for the first page no one ever really looks at the second or third page at least not me a lot of us are looking for information and really maybe the first three or four I would say no more typically than the first five search results is what we're going to wind up finding when we're looking on Google or Bing. I don't really use Yahoo that much, but I have it here. So here we go. I have the Google page loaded up. So let's see if this post is even visible. Okay, gluten-free lasagna, not mine, not mine, not mine, not mine, not mine. Nope. Okay, I don't see it there. Now let's try the Funky Spork, which is my blog site. Let's see if we start to see it. Okay, recipes, the funky spork. So if I were to search that specific, then I know that if I were to go to the recipe section, then I could find the blog post, but most people aren't going to know who I am if I were to include my blog name under the recipe name. And that's where I'm getting at. So let's also look at Bing. Um, All right, okay, beautiful, delicious looking pictures of lasagna here. Uh, vegan zucchini lasagna, not mine, not mine, not mine. Uh, they look great though, um, but these are not my posts. And let's also check here on Yahoo because people still use the Yahoo platform. Uh, let's see, vegan zucchini lasagna. A lot of the same recipes from some of the other popular bloggers are on here. <laughs> but not mine. So, while my post looks good, for some reason it's not translating to any of these major search engines. Why is that? Three letters, three important letters. S-E-O, short for search engine optimization. If you are a WordPress blogger, um, I don't care what topic you're covering. If you are using your blog other than a personal diary to get your information out there, you need to utilize SEO. 
and that term may just kind of through your mind which I get but the great thing about WordPress is that there are a lot of amazing plugins that you can actually apply to your WordPress blog site to make it easier for you as a blogger to just make some simple tweaks to really make your content pop out. So as you see here, this was my existing blog post here. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom because there's a special plugin that I installed and it's called Yoast SEO. Mind you, they have a free version, but I did the premium because for me, my blog is part of my business and I want to invest in something that'll give me a good ROI. So let's see here. It looks like under readability, it was not a very happy face. So we're gonna do a couple just overall tweaks. Okay, so first thing is, um, there are no key phrases. And the name of the recipe was dreamy vegan zucchini lasagna. You know, let's be realistic. How many people are gonna search for that title? So what I did was, something I recommend all of you WordPress bloggers do if you're not doing it is to have a backup file of your blog post. So I had one on Microsoft Word. I'm not too keen or in love with that name. It was originally called Dreamy Vegan Zucchini Lasagna, but as you see here, I decided to change it to Creamy Vegan Zucchini Lasagna. You know, let's call it cheesy. Cheesy Vegan Zucchini Lasagna. I'm more likely to search for that. Okay, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm gonna copy that. I do control C, but you can literally even just do this. I'm gonna copy that, and that's gonna be my new keyword. Um, so, whoopsie, let's go to this post here. Okay, so now I'm gonna insert this here. So now let's go to the blog post here, cheesy vegan zucchini lasagna. We're literally gonna plug this in. Okay, so the SEO, there's different um, levels. First, you can have a sad face, which is red, and that's just that your page is just all over the place. You want a green, happy face, and that's what I am going to do with a few simple tweaks. Right now, I have that medium like, eh, it's not horrible, but it's also not great. There's a lot you need to do. So first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, apply this cheesy vegan zucchini lasagna to the title of my blog post because the thing is though the keywords what are people going to be searching for i want my title for my blog post to literally be the type of keyword that everyday users are going to be looking for i'm trying to address a problem i'm trying to answer a problem that people have and the problem that people have is how do you make a cheesy vegan zucchini lasagna so let's go ahead and just do this. Let's make a simple tweak to see what happens here. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so let's um, first, there was no key phrase, so that was one thing. Um, but let's go into further detail to see under Yoast SEO analysis. This is really important, pay attention. Why do I, what are the problems? Outbound links, no outbound links appear in this page add some okay so let's just go in order I think the biggest thing is you see these red these red circles red circles are these are huge problems and that's holding you back from more visibility more traffic and potentially more leads for your business your or your brand and when no one's looking how are you gonna make money or how are you gonna get your message out think about that so we have a bunch of reds a couple oranges but overall um, I would say we, we have slightly more greens, so greens are good. You want to aim for greens. You want as many greens as possible. You want to avoid reds. If you have a couple oranges, not a bad deal, but we want to avoid these. So now let's see outbound links. No outbound links appear on this page. Add some. So it actually helps your page if you have a couple outbound links, which means what is an outbound link? Um, ooh, let's change that here. An outbound link is literally a link that directs you to another website outside of your blog. So it's also the algorithm ways of showing that you're promoting other content, but you don't want to abuse that. So where the heck am I going to come up with that? 
let's go back to my document here. I actually created a little shortcut and I'm going to go down here to the bottom. Basically, this is an outline of what my blog post is about. So everything here, I have my recipes about farm to spork videos in Facebook. Facebook is my outbound link. So what I did is I copied all this information and what's cool is I actually put links for all of these individual posts and I'll show you how to do that. But for the sake of this particular post, let's go ahead and plug that here. I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Okay. That looks pretty darn good, but you know, everything, I want this to look a little bit cleaner. So I want this to be in the center. I'm going to go ahead and enter that. Okay. That looks a little bit better. So for example, how can I go ahead and add a link? Let's go ahead and edit this. Let's pretend that I, you know what, let's do this. Let's get rid of that here. And I'm going to do in caps lock Facebook. And that's going to go ahead and link to my actual blog's Facebook page. So let me go ahead and open that page real quick. Um, whoops. Because I want to show you how you can add a hyperlink if you're not very familiar how to do that. Uh huh. Here is my Facebook page, facebook.com uh, slash the funky spork. I'm going to go ahead and copy that information. I have Windows, so I do Control C. Um, so now I'm going to go back to this particular link here. I'm going to highlight it. When you see this button here where my mouse is, that's to hyperlink, and that's where you can actually add links. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste my link here and I'm going to give the opportunity to open this to a new tab and um, I'm going to press that. So now I've got that, but I also want that to be bold and consistent. So I literally just press control B, but you can also press that button here and uh, that looks good. So now let's go back um, and see if that solves that problem. Okay. Let's see. Outbound link. Perfect. Remember, is that red? Now it's at green. So that's good. Less problems. Okay. So now, um, key phrase and introduction, your key phrase or its synonyms do not appear in the first paragraph. What does that mean? Make sure the topic is clear immediately. So let's go back here. Um, I want to go ahead and, uh, let's go and enter here. So basically what does that mean? What is a key phrase? It's basically saying, in a very short and sweet summary sentence, what is this post about? So going back to my Microsoft Word document, um, this is something I kind of pre-tweaked before this video just to show you um, some easy shortcuts that I'm now taking to just optimize this existing post. Meta description, um, let's see here. That's gonna be my key phrase and I'm gonna go into what the meta description is in a little bit. So now we're gonna go ahead and add this key phrase. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Unlike your traditional lasagna, this deliciously creamy vegan zucchini lasagna is different because it's vegan and is lower in carbs if you're counting. So that is the key phrase. So let's see if it changes anything. Key phrase or do not appear in the paragraph. Make sure the topic is clear immediately. Well, that should eventually um, be recognized. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. So you gotta pay attention. I decided to change this. She, see? Okay, so now let's go back. I added that. So let's see if that picks up. <gasps> oh, look, less problems. So let's see what happened now. Okay, key phrase and introduction. See, you literally, when you're looking at your key phrase, it has to be the exact same thing. Those key phrases have to be the exact same thing as what you have in your focused key phrase. Because remember, you have to reverse engineer this. What are people looking for online every minute of the day? Think of your blog posts as really a landing page to solve a problem. You've got the solution. I've got the solution here and I want people to read about this and share this with their friends and family. Okay. So cool, cool, cool. I'm feeling a little bit happier. So now here, um, key phrase density, the focus key phrase was found one time. That's less than the recommended minimum of three times for a text of this length. Focus on your key phrase. That's really important because they want to see that you're using that again and again and again. So let's go ahead and see where else we can use this. 
let's go okay lasagna cheesy vegan lasagna vegan okay let's see here let's do another shortcut i'm gonna do control f vegan whoops let's do control f and control f you can find words lasagna okay vegan lasagna oh that's surprising you think i would have had it more time so let's make um let's see here let's jump to the recipe cheesy vegan let's say cheesy let's put it here let's throw that here cheesy vegan um zucchini lasagna that should be a second time and then so we're gonna look here this cheesy vegan zucchini lasagna those are that is my focus key phrase so now I added that over here in this paragraph because the paragraph I'm expounding upon what that focus key phrase is so let's see if that changed anything let's scroll down and let's go back to Yoast to see what they have to say the algorithms don't lie my friends they don't lie oh <gasps> ooh, the SEO analysis look at that it went from eh to good that's good I'm excited about that okay meta description link okay no meta description has been specified search engines will display copy from the page instead uh, be sure to write one and when you hear copy it's literally it is the writing you're doing um, for a commercial purpose okay so now okay remember so what I just highlight here remember that focus key phrase I had um, this is it. So unlike your traditional lasagna, this deliciously cheesy uh, vegan zucchini lasagna um, is <laughs> is different. See, I like this SEO analysis because it also helps you with your proofreading. Okay, so I'm going to copy all that juicy information here and meta description. What the heck are they talking about? I'm telling you, this was all foreign language to me. I am not a coder I didn't study computer science or, nor did I study marketing a lot of this I just kind of learned as I went along with a lot of determination unlike okay so yes this is the same keyword I have but you see here it's too long let's see and that's what the orange bar means meta description link oh it's over 156 characters so let's make this a little bit more concise unlike your traditional Lasagna, this, let's see if this changes everything. I don't need to add all these verbs. Okay, this cheesy, oops, not cheesy. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's good, perfect. That's gonna capture people's attention. Unlike your traditional lasagna, this cheesy vegan zucchini lasagna is delicious because it's vegan. You know what, let's say because it's plant-based. Let's, let's make it a little bit better. Okay. All right, so let's go back and, oh, you see how it's there at that threshold? It's good, as long as you're still in the green, that's what you're going for. Green is gold. Let's think green. Let's literally think green. Let's say plant-based here. I hope this doesn't mess up my algorithm for the SEO case. Okay, so let's see if that changes anything. Okay, well my SEO is still good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is literally what people are going to look up on search engines and that's what I'm literally going for. Um, good, good, good. Okay, so that's good. And okay, key phrase distribution, it's uneven. Some of your texts do not contain the key phrase or its synonyms. Distribute them more evenly. So let's work on that. We want to make this as optimized as possible. So let's see where the key phrase distribution is. I turn that ion as you can see here. Okay, distribute them. Okay, so it was good that I had um, gently layer the zucchini noodles. Okay, uh, okay, devour this dish. Oh, see when you put this J here was actually smiling. Okay, so enjoy. Okay, nutrition information. Let's put it here for the cheesy vegan zucchini lasagna let's see if okay so okay there it is for some reason it disappeared 
key phrase distribution, I think it wants it to be a little bit more even. Zucchini, lasagna. So a lot of these are the directions here. So I don't want to get too redundant um, to the cheesy vegan lasagna. Let's put this here and you're going to see why. It's probably going to be like, oh, this is redundant. But you'll see why I'm about to do this. Let's jump to the... Okay. Okay, so let's see if this helps any little bit. Key phrase distribution. Okay, so... Eh, we'll continue to work on that. Um, so, okay, so this um, penalty I have here from the result, image alt attributes. Images on this page do not have alt attributes that reflect the topic of your text. Add your key phrase or synonyms to the alt tags of relevant tags. So let's see what the heck does that mean? Okay, so I have this picture over here. So let me select this here. Let's see. So if you select the picture, you're gonna see this block here. And this is specifically, once again, for WordPress folks. Let's go down here, image setting, alt text. So what is an alternative text? In short, what that serves a couple different purposes. If you are visually impaired, you can't see pictures or not very well. So essentially this alt text is describing all the details and contents of a photo so that helps people who are blind or visually impaired so they can have an idea of what the picture is about and that also helps search engine algorithms to know what pictures are about so also when you are saving pictures um, don't just have like your default numbers from your digital camera that might be like five six four zero zero two don't do that to yourself rather literally name the picture what the image is about. So luckily I did that here. So let's go under alt text because I actually did that earlier. Um, so if I go down, this was my draft post here. Picture a slice of this vegan, vegan luzini. I can't speak of the cheesy. You want to add all your keywords. Um, so basically this describes it. If I couldn't see it, I could see a slice of cheesy vegan zucchini lasagna topped with fresh basil leaves served on a plate whoops served on a medium plate medium sized plate okay so now here let me try to see oops okay so now let me highlight all this information and let's see if it makes any sort of difference okay so we have the alt text here. Okay, amp settings, so that looks good. I would say so. Okay, let's see if that makes any sort of difference. Okay. Okay, cool, look at that. Dude, check that out. So we went from having a lot of reds to a lot of greens. I want to take this moment to show you one of my existing blog posts and this was a blog post for a vegan recipe I did for creamy black bean pasta dish and the reason I'm showing this to you is because I wanted to show you this particular blog post and after every little tweak that I showed you beforehand with optimizing the SEO, I want to see if it was visible on a search engine platform such as Google. That's my main concern. Did everything I do for the previous example I showed you work in this particular context? So let's take a look. All right, so right now I copied it and it's loading and let's see ah oh, voila there i am i'm right there in the middle my picture is there pretty visible hasn't gotten any reviews yet but the fact is this is because it's showing that's very promising to me and then look there i'm number two that makes me very happy so it works the point of this video is to show you that 
these tweaks I did, I'm not a coder, I'm not a developer, I'm not a computer software engineer. I'm just taking advantage of different plugins you can actually use in your WordPress account. And once again, I said, if you just give yourself an extra 10 or at most 15 minutes to just add some of these extra tweaks, I'm telling you, there is a bigger chance you're gonna start to get more search engine visibility, more traffic coming to your page. If you're a business, that can also help increase more chances of getting leads and sales. And potentially, if you have Google AdSense to your account, if you're getting more traffic to your posts, there's also a probability that you might start to see more ad revenue come. Of course, there's other things you have to do other than just adding these tweaks. You have to market your content as well, but this is just one side of the formula with getting the visibility out there. Also, if you've been considering using WordPress as your web host server for your blog, I really loved it. I find it to be very user friendly. I like the aesthetics of WordPress and all the plugins and support. I will post a referral link below to the description of this video so you can sign up for WordPress. I know you can start blog pages for free and then you can upgrade for more add-ons, but if you do that, that's my affiliate link. It's gonna help me to create just extra content for this channel and for this amazing platform. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But anyway, that's all I have to say regarding this particular topic. If you like this video, please help me by giving this particular video a nice thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions or any comments, please post them down below. But otherwise, if you liked this video, please press that like button and please um, help me by subscribing to my channel. I wanna share as much knowledge and wisdom that I have as I am learning with all of you, this beautiful, beautiful community. Well, anyway, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and continue optimizing more of my blog posts throughout the day. If you wanna check out my personal food blog channel, The Funky Spork, I'll also go ahead and link that down below as well as the YouTube channel for the recipes that I feature. So that's all I have for today. I want all of you to have a wonderful, fantastic day. Goodbye.